Hello, Pat Skeets here from meandmycricut.com. Today I'm doing this two-page layout. I have um, got these two pictures. This is a five by seven. I'm going to place it here. And this is a four by six, so it's going over here. I um, This is a, a playground equipment. And it was great big arches all over the place that you climbed on and ran over and whatnot. So I used these. That's what inspired these arch images. It almost looks like the McDonald's arches. But um, anyway, that's what inspired uh, these images that I'm using for this page today. So I've chosen a paper, a pattern paper for the background. And it is from this Amy Tangerine um, Hustle and Heart pad. It is um, this paper here that I've chosen. So I, I think I'm turning it the other way though. Anyway, um, that's why I put a print on here. So you'll think to uh, use a pattern paper yourselves. All right. Um, this page, I um, it's quite kind of simple. I found this paper, also, and I, I, uh, my paper looks like a bit of a patchwork, so I found this image of a patchwork quilt. I don't expect you to make this image at all. I expect you to just cut out a piece of paper that size, and use a, a pretty coordinate print with some more colors in it. Uh, co something that coordinates with the background and a smaller piece of it down along here for a border. Now, I had to, um, when I found the image of the arch, I just, let's see, let me just look up images. I'll show you what I did. So, if I type in arch, Let's see what comes up. Just deciding to do this right now, so I hope it pays off. <laughs> Here's the image, but that's a drawn one. So I need, here it is. Here's the cut image that I chose. So I'm going to um, add to the canvas. Let's um, see, I needed it filled in. So what I did was I wanted it to be orange <clears throat> because in my photos those arches are all orange. So I just I'm gonna I'm gonna hit shapes. It was quite simple to do. Hit a square. Now I'm gonna put this square. over that. I'm going to make this square orange, the color I want it to be. I'm going to click on this and arrange, bring to the front. Okay, so now I've got those together. I want all this inside the arch filled in, so I'm just going to group that and slice in the very bottom right corner or of your screen. There's a slice, you just slice. Now you click, move that away. So now I have my black image. This I can get rid of. Whoops. Oh yeah, delete's over here now. Everything's changed, <laughs> I'm not quite used to it yet. So now I can just lift this off my mat, or, or um, if I cut that out. I just got rid of it all. I used, um, I made another box and I deleted this part. Then I did another area. I deleted everything until I got to, I did an oval and got rid of the middle part. Anyway, that's how I did it. Just like that. And then they fit together perfectly. So, um, let's delete that and this and get back to the page. 
what else is on here whoops there we go okay so I just it's quite a simple page these arches are such a big part of it that I it didn't need much else and they're a big part of the photos too so I just put a Sun and a title because it was a very fun day going from park to park so whoops let's get rid of that text um, I don't I didn't want that oh shoot now I have to go back to my projects and here it is okay so now I'm going to make this and we're going to uh, put it together all right let's put this cute page together I guess I'll call it my McDonald's page with all the arches um, okay so here are my photos first thing I'm going to do is mat them so I decided that I would use this chevron um, image it's a creative memories border punch from the border system it's what's it no I don't know what it's called chevrons anyway <laughs> and I I liked it because it was showed motion to me arrows moving and I picked this paper because it has the arches like in these photos these were giant arches I told you that already okay so let's just get these photos matted so we can start putting this together Um, it was a lot of fun this this day and I actually we did so many parks I have um, I think five or six scrapbook pages double page layouts all from that one day doing all those parks I'm not doing frames on these because um, the images are so large on these pages, on this page. So that's why I decided to add a border to it, just to make it kind of fun. Okay, so this is the patchwork quilt looking like paper that I found. And so I'm putting a, a piece of it up top. And so... I'm going to repeat it on the other side at the bottom. A large piece up here. And I have a small piece of this border to put at the bottom here. So. Um, so much fun reliving all these days with my granddaughter going to see her next week um, all right so this arch has this base on it and I'm going to leave it there because there's nothing really at the bottom of this page so um, that's just going to go like that but on the right hand side these arches are larger. I did them, I cut them bigger. And they're, they're just, and this sticks off. I'm gonna cut off, the, I don't like these, the bottoms. I'm gonna cut this brown bar off of here. I don't like that. And I can make it any height and adjust them underneath. Well, this is how I put them together. <laughs> I just, um, I showed you how I did the slice part. So I had this part and this. So I just flipped it over and I got a piece of paper and I taped it. And I just placed it around to hold these in place. And now that'll stay. So now I can place this arch anywhere. 
I can even put it below here if I want. I can tuck it under. There. And we'll do the same thing with this. Let's get rid of all these bits. They're just too big for the page. All right, so the back one I want higher. Still trying to leave a margin. This paper was perfect for these arches. I think I'll move it a little closer. There. And now I'm just going to place this on top leave a little gap there okay well now this is not showing up and it doesn't show up very well over here either so a repair is called for so I'm going to I have some yellow paper left because I did make the Sun this Sun is going up here so I'm going to use some of this yellow, and I'm going to put it back there. And now it'll show up. And actually, it's a good thing because it's repeating the yellow on this side. There wasn't any of the yellow on this side. So let's just snip this and do a repair on the fly. There, now I can tape it. Um, oh, that's what this is for. Perfection. There we go. Oh, it makes a big difference. Often when you use a border punch, if it's on a pattern paper, you really need to uh, put something behind it so that it shows up nicely. Okay. Well, that's going to be cute. Um, here we go again. The lighting isn't too good today. I'm hoping this works out for this video. I could use my glue gun for this. Oops. none of this tape shows the only rule in scrapbooking is never let your tape show there we go and we followed the rule I could tuck this under this arch and I think I will This arch is going to go under there. There. All right. So now I have my sun. That's cute. And then over here we have a title called Fun on a Big Arrow. And I embossed that with this arrow embossing folder. It's cute. It just made me think of busy and rushing and moving and that's what she was doing, running around. So uh, with that title there, there's these flashy little images of, uh, I don't know, they show motion to me as well. So that's why I'm gonna put them 
on there. There's some at the bottom and some at the top. So these will go here. Just, it makes it look busy, which is like, you know, active, something going on. Okay, so in my stash, I found, I like decorating pages. I guess you're learning that. I have bought this Simple Stories package of chipboard frames at um, the scrapbook show I was at in Novi. And I found one in there that was perfect for this page, and it said, let's go. So I lined it with this paper that coordinates. I had a little piece left. So I lined it with that, and I'm going to put that right there. I just thought it was fun, and it's kind of empty up there. So I'm doing that. I like that up there. So I did go through my uh, stash, as I said, and I found, I went through the juvenile folder and I found this in there, but uh, she has a backpack on, so I couldn't use her, but he is doing acrobatics. And I thought that was really cute and fun for a kid's page. So I am going to put him on this page, if I can get him off of here, there we go. I thought he'd be really cute over here doing acrobatics just like she is. So I am going to put that there, but I'm going to wait till I've taped down this arch. So I'll just leave it there for this for the time being and not until I tape the arch. And then I found this in Creative Memories Feeling Bright Embellishment Collection. Um, I, there's a whole bunch of fun things I've used actually on the previous page I did I used that and I decided I don't ever journal so I decided I would like to use this up I love this little border and adding more yellow to this side of the page uh, I just thought I would do that to this frame and stick it on here and I think it's cute because I, I really don't journal, so those things are a waste, so I use them up in different ways. And then I also found in there this heart that I'm going to use there. And I found another heart in a circle that I'm just going to put up here. It's a bit empty up there. So um, they were the right colors for this page, so I thought I would do that. Um, I, I have a, a die as well that does this really, I don't know if you can see that, it's a corner. How can I show it to you? I can put it on paper. There. It's a very delicate, it's kind of a, it's a photo corner. And <clears throat> it folds like this and you can stick it on the corner of a photo. So I am going to put that on there. And I'm going to, I did two of them, so I'm going to put one on here. I should have done that before I taped that photo down. <clears throat> so now I'm going to have to glue this. And then, <clears throat> so if I glue the back of this, I'll lift the uh, photo off the, uh, the photo mat here with a tool. Sometimes we do things backwards, huh? <clears throat> okay, let's place that. There we go. Now it's not touching the photo. It's um, filling up nicely. <clears throat> I have to do the same to this one up there. Jeez, I'm hoping this isn't too dark. It's looking dark to me. 
where I'm uh, working. So there will be a design space link for this page posted below. Um, and you'll find it in Everyday Life scrapbook number 49 on my website. So, um, whoop, there. There we go. So that worked. Now I'll just tuck that under here again. Get rid of my garbage. Oh, and I really want, <laughs> he's too cute. Maybe if I put him on there, it will, that'll make it easier to place. That is too cute. Well, I'm really liking this page. It was a lot of fun. I hope you liked it too. So please subscribe below and um, I'll see you next time. Happy scrapping.